Ladies, please wake up and understand that cooking, cleaning, and your man is not enough to keep him satisfied for the rest of his life, and it is not enough for you to request a ring, okay? Please do understand that you need to provide, protect, and build, and listen, and care, and love, and do all that you want your man to do for you. You need to be able to do that for your man, too, before requesting a ring or before requesting that he be with you for the rest of his damn life. If you can't provide the man everything that you want the man to provide to you, you shouldn't be asking for that man. Just saying. Go ahead, baby. Y'all already know she they calling her a pick me right about now. That she's a pick me. She's just trying to get on. Da, 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 da. Man, listen. Anyway, man, yo, it's JR. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Let's run it up. Y'all know what time it is. Anyway, I appreciate baby saying that. Yo, shout out to you. You know what I mean? This is something that fellas talk about a lot. Now, one of the biggest things, we always talk about what she said in the beginning, which she said that's just not enough. Cooking, cleaning, you know, Lewinsky, you know, making the cheeks clap on command. That's something that, you know, we would love. A lot of us would like just the basics for that. But at the end of the day, what if she's just, what if she does that and it's just robotic? You know, what if she's just not into you? You know what I'm saying? She's just, that's just like a housemaid you know, or a mail order bride that just doesn't, you guys don't even speak the same language. Basically, she just does it basically because she feels like she has to, doesn't enjoy it, doesn't ask you about your day. Uh, basically, all the things like, a man is supposed to be a provider. So I get it. A lot of you guys argue with me. No, JR, she has to work. She has to help me with the bills. This is 2022. I can't pay it all by myself. Even though I want to get married and I want to have kids, she's supposed to help me. No. You're a man. Be a man. I, I still don't wonder. You guys watch my video. I, I don't understand. Be a man. Take care of your family. Not the other way around. GR, she has to help me. I can't, I can't take care of this household, but I want it to be married. And get buns and all these other things that she's talking about in this video. Being kind, caring, nice person, being able to communicate. All these are just, you would think is a, just being a good human being. But some of us, and we, we have to learn over time. What is a good human being? What constitutes being a good human being? Being a nice person. You know, we talk about fit, feminine, cooperative, submissive, all those things. Right? That's what we can say. Okay, if she can do all those things, she's a good human being. Is she, does understanding come with that? Does caring come with that? Does being by your side, you know what I'm saying? Cooperative and submissive, we can say, okay, you know, these things could fall under that umbrella but really is this lady like your best friend you a lot of you guys are convinced that a woman shouldn't be your your friend which i i don't agree with that i understand other other you other people on youtube say it that your your wife or girlfriend shouldn't be your friend it should be your friend you know the same thing about my girlfriend's my subordinate my wife's my subordinate this is supposed to be, she's not my partner. You guys are getting so caught up in these things where it's just like as if this woman is not even your wife. She's a helpmate and nothing else. If you can't communicate with each other and she's only supposed to listen to you, but you don't listen to her, you don't care about her feelings, you don't want to talk anything out, you don't want her, women... That's how women, that's how I know a lot of you guys, and I say this over and over, don't know how to effectively communicate with women. And a lot of you women don't know how to communicate with men. Because a lot of times it's all about you. Fellas, are you in relationships with women or are you married to a woman where it's all about her? Everything is all about what are you going to do for me? Where are you going to take me out this weekend? Are you going to get me this? Are you going to do that? Instead of what, did, what is she doing for you? You have to ask her for sex. You have to ask her, don't talk to me like that. I don't like you talking to me like you have to tell, you know, just say just common sense stuff. A lot of times if you're dealing with a woman like this and she I can understand teaching people how to treat you. But you have to do that well before you make a commitment like marriage or, you know, being my girlfriend. I understand ironing things out. But you guys are 
basically putting up with stuff and this woman is going to take this into the next relationship if if you know after you cuz she got just got so accustomed of being this way and a lot of women weren't raised right and sometimes it's not their fault but and that's why they watch these male channels and things like that to try and learn okay what am i doing wrong as a woman and we're sitting here trying to convey the message with the iron fist and making fun and laughing at women but it's it's really some serious women who just have been told for so long that I'm the ish nothing's wrong with you and that's a part of being a man as well it's not about holding her accountable and checking her you can yell at someone just like a child all day long and they, they'll never understand what it is you're trying to say right you did this you did this you did this now are we still going to be together? No, we, we still need to be together. You know, you're still my woman. <laughs> but you did this. You did that. You did this. Nothing but that. Nothing but that. And not enough, not any of this. If you would learn to stop being, there's no need to be hard or brash. Men say what's on their mind. And they also take criticism and take in what it is that the, their significant other or someone else is saying to them. They do these things. It's not always about I'm right and you're wrong. I'm right by virtue of me being a man or just be or you're a woman. And I'm not making this about because this definitely is geared towards the women. We have to you have to stop. C communication is the biggest thing, guys. Communication and understanding yourself. But once you these a lot of these women and we and I understand we're putting out this content, they continue to act this way because we allow it, or when you're trying to talk to them, you're not doing it in a manner that they can absorb it. It just goes over their head or they feel like they're being talked down to. You feel me? Ladies, you have to, like this lady, y'all have to take part in it too, which is, I'm glad she made this video. But fellas, us just saying these things, you can't make another man do these things. You can't make another woman do these things for you. You're responsible because it's just you and this other person. You guys are two individuals that choose to be in a situation. You can listen to all people from, from the outside all day long. But you ladies that are watching, you want, I think a lot of times you ladies, you want to date a woman just like you. In theory, you would, you have this, this, this picture or this, this person in your mind of, I want to date myself when in all actuality, you really want, you really wouldn't want to date yourself. Women will say, I, I want you to do these things. I want you to talk to me like this. I want you to do these things. But she's not doing any of that. <clears throat> Guys, this is a common thing. I, I've encountered this a lot. Women will want all these things from you, but she doesn't provide any of it. And sometimes it's dudes that are the same way. You want her to do all these things. You want her to look a certain way, but you're not providing any of that. You guys aren't, sometimes aren't holding the household down. But that's what they, what they talk about equally yoked and things like that. Don't, don't ever get in a situation, guys, where you're just like, there's, it's doomed from the start. You're having issues in the beginning and you're arguing and then you think marrying a woman is going to make things better. Or she's going to change after she gets married. Women don't change after they get married. You know what I'm saying? Most men don't either. So you have to count on that person to be them. You know. You be you. You put your best foot forward. Nothing's more consistent except change. But some people just are a little bit more reluctant. Some people only change for things that are emotionally compelling. And sometimes you just aren't emotionally compelling. 
sometimes you, you're doing everything, you're enabling that person, and that's why they feel like they never have to change. Until you realize your worth and just walk the hell off, man. And that's the biggest thing that I can say, and I hope you guys take away from this, is you just have to know your worth, guys, and not tolerate any of this stuff. If you, When you know you're a good person, don't ever let someone tell you that you're not a good person. If you know you've tried and done things like that, someone will always try to tell you that you, you ain't shit. You know, when you know you were a good person. That's why some people chose just choose to be alone. But hey, that's just me talking, man. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, man. I'm tired of talking. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Cali and Linktree to book a one-on-one. -on -one. Guys, this was, there was a lot to unpack in this video. If you'd like to book a session with me and you're having issues similar to this with your wife and or husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, book that session. The link is in the corner. Y'all know what to do. Click on that link right now. Purchase all my books and merch. And as usual, subscribe to all my channels. Follow me on Instagram. I will follow you back. Nothing but gratitude to all you guys that continue to support my channel. Peace be upon you all. The mercy and blessings of the Almighty. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's beat maker. And I don't know. I have to put a light in the sky for the G's that don't turn memory from God. Blessings we send to the ghetto youth.